Hello, I'm Sandra Guerrero, and I'm a tutor at Texas State Technical College. Today, I'd like to cover over the basics of an essay. A lot of students struggle with how to get started. So today, I'd like to go over a few tips to help you write a good paper. The first thing you want to do is choose a topic. Ask yourself, what is your instructor really asking you to do exactly? To inform, to give instructions, to persuade or argue, to research. You want to read the instructions carefully over and over and ask your instructor for specific details to avoid common mistakes. Once you choose your topic, you want to map out your ideas. The best way to do a mapping exercise is from scratch pen and paper. Pen and paper. Let's go over a quick way to do a mapping exercise. Once you've chosen your topic, let's do a mapping exercise. What do you already know that is going to be included in your essay? You know that you have a topic. You know that you need an intro. You already know that you will have a conclusion. Generally, an essay will take three main points. Giving you a total of five paragraphs. Let's say that your topic is about technology and your instructor wants you to talk about how technology is a positive influence on society. Make your notes and ask yourself, what are three ways that I know for sure that technology has influenced society? Even though you don't know everything, it's good to start brainstorming with the things that you already know. Technology has impacted society as far as education. I know that for sure. Medicine. Entertainment. Those will be my three main points that I will talk about. Education, I know that <clears throat> technology has advanced medicine, definitely entertainment. Now, I haven't done any research yet, but I already know from life and experience and just talking to people that the education has been advanced by technology, so has the medicine field and our entertainment. Now we can map about our ideas. In your intro, you know you need to start off with a general statement. Something general about technology where you haven't given away your ideas yet. You haven't even introduced your point of view. Next, you can give a specific statement. a little more specific than general, but still not giving away your details. Here's where you're gonna need to introduce a thesis. And of course your thesis is gonna revolve around the three main points. So if you're looking at education, medicine, and entertainment, it's safe to say that technology has influenced society through education, medicine, and entertainment. Let's make a sentence out of that. Okay, <clears throat> here's my thesis. Technology has positively influenced the advancement of education, comma, modern medicine, comma, and the entertainment business. Okay, 
I don't want to sound professional yet because we haven't researched any details, but this is off of the common knowledge that we already know. So before you even do any research, ask yourself, how has education advanced with technology? Well, I know that there's online classes. You can earn your degree from home. Or work. What else? Great schools are using technology. And of course, we cannot forget computers. Where would the education be without computers? All right, let's move on to medicine. How's technology advanced medicine? They're able to research through technology. Create advanced medicine. I know that technology helps um, people who are missing this. <clears throat> Keep in mind, this is just brainstorming off of your own knowledge, okay? We haven't done any research yet. Let's go with entertainment. How has technology improved entertainment? Well, let's talk about TV, radios, the internet, right? Music videos can be uploaded by anyone. And now how about the creation of music? Now there's all these digital synthesized products out there that can help anyone make music. Okay. All right. So we've mapped out some ideas. We put them in an order where you can understand how your paper will flow. And in your conclusion, I want to rephrase your thesis. Summarize what you already said. And then give them something to remember. Okay, here's a simple map. This is a mapping exercise. It's a great way to start getting your ideas on paper and looking at what your paper is going to look at like before you have even started to type it. Uh, let's say that your instructor wants research. We're going to be researching about education, medicine, and the entertainment business. Okay, let's do a quick example of how to research those ideas. A lot of students have questions about the resources. How do they know if it's legitimate or not? Here's a few tips that I'd like to give. Go to your Google. Let's type in something in general about technology and education. The best way to look for your resources to see if it's if it's a good source is this area right here. A lot of them end in .com, education.com. When you see .ed, .gov, .orgs, 
those are good um, sources to start with. Let's look here. Keep in mind that your sources are going to support your ideas. Here's some good uh, information that talks about. Now let's let's just glance quickly at this website to avoid wasting any time before you go and read the whole article. Glance around and see if you have all your information that you usually need. You have an author right there. There's no publishing date. As you can see, there would have been a date here. But if you scroll at the bottom, you can see here that it's up to date. So let's open up a Word document. This is called keeping a running citation. As you're researching and you come across um, articles that you may use that you think will be beneficial for your paper, open up a Word document and start a running citation. That means that you copy paste the URL to your Word. And then you can come back to it later. Keep in mind that when you're researching, it takes a lot of time. Any little word can readjust the outcome of your search list. All right, so I have three resources that I'm going to be using. Let's um, get started on putting your paper together. Once you look at your sketch for your mapping exercise, you can have an idea of what your paper is going to look like. Each one of these lists here, you can make a complete sentence out of. You all know the rules for MLA format, Times New Roman, 12. Go to paragraph. Make sure you have zero before, zero after, and a double space. Click OK. That should set your whole paper before you even get started. Double click in your header. Right align it. Last name. A lot of people get confused here because they don't know if they should enter the number directly. What you want to do is go to insert where page number is, drop it. And since your cursor is already here, go to current position and then a plain number. Once you click out, it will automatically update on the second page. Okay, so here's your heading. So we've set up so far. This is your intro. Tab over. With any essay, here's your intro. And of course, you're going to need transitions. To begin with. OK, that's where you put a main topic sentence. And of course, you want to guide yourself with your mapping exercise. Okay. Let's do example of how to do your work cited. We'll do one of the resources. This is where your work cited should go. do one okay so this is the article on advancing entertainment here is our author let's look at how simple you can do that don't be afraid everybody gets worried
first name last, last name second. Okay. This is separated with periods. Next is the title. This is the title of the article. Title of the article goes in quotations. Next is the website. Not the URL, just the website. This goes in italics. Okay, so far so good. Now let's look at the publisher. Here it says that it's the same company, which is common. A lot of websites publish their own. You still include it. published there's no date here so you go with the date here okay next is the source this is a web And then the date you accessed it, which is today. Of course, you want to put it in the format where it's day first, month, and then the year. Okay, and last but not least, highlight it. Go to the paragraph, and where you see special, do a hanging indent. Gives you a preview of what it's going to look like, and you click OK. And there you go. This is how you do your Works Cited page. You start off and cite your sources. Once you have them all lined up, go to each one of these and find your source. Some teachers will ask you to put the URL to include it. Not everyone will. That's why it's important to ask your instructors. So I gave you a quick basic run on how to get your essay started. It's really important to ask your instructor for any specific details about what they want and what they're looking for so you don't make any common mistakes. Reread your instructions carefully. A lot of the problems come from not understanding the directions. Seek a tutor for help and have a peer review it before you submit. If you have any questions, please contact our department for tutoring. It is 364-4170, or visit the Learning Resource Center, also the library, for assistance. My name is Sandra Guerrero, and I'm a tutor at Texas State Technical College. Thank you.